Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday morning. And today, in another episode of Just Learn It, we are going to talk about how to do phone support from home, how to do um, work from home phone support. Thank you for joining us. Um, if you're watching, please let me know. Please type in the comments below where you're watching from. If you have any family or friends that would really benefit, especially those who are working in the call centers, um, if you're working in a call center or if you have friends that are working in the call center or family who is working from the call center, they would greatly benefit from watching this and learning more about how they can work from home, how they can use their existing skills to earn to be relaxed at home and to earn more money from home. Who has worked in the call center in the past? Raise your hand or type in the comments. You know, I've worked in the call center. I worked for five years in the call center. Um, so I know how it is. I know the struggles of working in the call center. Um, and that's why I, I, I didn't want to work in the call center anymore. So that's why I went freelancing. Uh, I'm going to show you what this phone support work is, you know, this phone support work is, and whether it's for you, is it something that you should be doing? You know, we talk about earning from home, working from home, making a living, but is phone support something that you should be doing? Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and answer a few questions here. First of all, what is phone support? What is phone support work? Um, well, it's similar to working in a call center. You know, we, we've worked in call centers like Converges or Sykes um, or JP Morgan, and there's Qualphone. There are so many call centers in the Philippines. It's similar to working in these companies where you would still, you know, you would still answer calls for a company. You would still answer calls for a company, except instead of working in an office, you would do so from the comfort of your home. This is this is a house, um, and th that's your big head inside the house. Um, you you do it at home instead. So you would you would answer questions such as customer service questions. Um, you would answer inquiries. You'd answer support. Um, there are also very very popular nowadays is receptionist calls, where all you do is forward calls or take messages. And there are also sales calls and different kinds of calls. But phone support work, you're doing, you're, you're working in one or more of these categories, but instead of working in a company, you're doing so from home. Okay, so, you know, why? Why do companies do it? Why do companies outsource their phone support, right? Well, especially, you know, when, when we're talking about call centers, we're usually thinking of big companies who do this, like Microsoft. You know, we have Microsoft. We have companies such as Dell. We have um, Amazon. Those are very big accounts in the Philippines. JP Morgan. We have Wells Fargo. We have these big companies um, that are that are outsourcing to our call centers. But aside from these companies, aside from these big companies, there are also the small companies. The small companies also need help. The small companies are usually just one guy, you know, one guy and he starts a business. One guy, he starts a business, or uh, maybe he starts up an online business, he's selling things online, he's selling shovels online, and then he doesn't have time to answer phone support inquiries, um, sales support and follow up. So he hires this one man, this one guy, he hires us from the Philippines. This is a drawing of the Philippine map. Um, he, he hires, he outsources to the Philippines, he outsources to people like us. Um, and unlike, unlike these big companies, Unlike these big companies, which go through companies like Convergys and Sykes and Qualphone and, and Teleperformance to hire people, this one guy over here has to just look for maybe one, two, or three different support people who will handle the calls because it's, it's, it's not that many. He's a very small business. So we have 
what we see, what we're seeing now is a lot of these smaller businesses, like in the Philippines, they might be like our Sari Sari stores um, or Carinderias, you know, that small, but they need phone support. So they hire us from the Philippines because, um, you know, they don't, they don't have the time to do it. They'd rather grow the business. And we are very good in English. You know, we're very good in English and we are cheaper than hire, hiring somebody in the U.S., Right. So these are the major reasons why companies would do it. Now, why should you do it? Why should you do it? Why should you do phone support? Well, for one thing, if you're doing phone support work, it is easy. It's, it's, it's easy. It's easy mentally, you know. You don't, it's not very complicated. You won't have to learn programming or anything like that. It's very easy and very simple for you to do phone support work. And I know, I know a guy who earns um, just making sales calls. He earns 80,000 a month. You know, he earns this much just from doing sales calls, just from being at home and answering calls answering calls that are that are sent to him. He earns this much and it's very easy work for him. You know, he's just at home. He's just relaxing. Um, he used to work in a BPO. He used to work in Convergys. But, you know, in Convergys, he was earning something like 25K a month. And then he had to travel um, in Manila. But now he's, on, he's earning 80K a month doing pretty much the same thing, but now he's earning a lot more. He's earning from home. It's still very easy work. He's already been trained to do it in, when he was working in Convergys. So he was able to immediately start taking calls from home. Um, and it's very easy for him, especially because he already has experience in the field. All right. Um, so now if we said, why should you do it? Why not? do phone support? Why should you not do phone support work? What's the big reason here? Where, well, there is, there is little room for growth. There is very little room for growth if you do phone support work. You can't really, you can't really get promoted. You can't really get promoted to a manager because, like I said earlier, if it's just one guy hiring one other person, one guy from the U.S., you know, this is the U.S. flag, hiring one guy from the Philippines, you can't get promoted to manager because you're just one guy handling the phone support. Or if you have two other people, the room for growth is very small. It's very low um, compared to some other positions. And, and learning... Learning new skills, you don't really learn new, a lot of new skills, which could be good for a lot of people because some people, they don't want to learn new skills. They just want to use their, the, the skills they already know and make money from that. So if you're one of those people, then this is great work for you. But if you're somebody who continues to like to learn, continues to like to grow, then this can get very boring and routine routinary because it's repetitive. You do the same thing, you answer. And, and, and this was a problem when I was working in the call center before um, I would answer a call after call, but it's the same thing over and again. I could just close my eyes and I'd know what to say. Um, and it got very boring for me, but for some, some people like that. So if you're the kind of person who, who likes just, you know, being relaxed, being working at home, maybe earning between, you know, up to around 50K a month, then that's good for you. Phone support might be a great area for you, but if you like to learn um, and you like to grow, then phone support may get very boring. It may get very routinary for you. Okay, um, please ask in the comments if you have any questions about this or anything regarding freelancing or have, have any kind of questions for me. So um, moving on first over here, what skills do you need to do phone support from home? What skills do you need? Well, you need verbal English skills. 
Take note, I said verbal because some people are very good at writing, but they're not when they speak English, it's, it's very hard for them. Some people can speak English very well, but when they write, it's very hard for them. So verbal, which what I mean by that is both spoken and listening. So of course, listening is very important because you have to listen to customers' questions and you have to speak well to answer potential customers or customers' questions. Customer service skills which mean, very importantly, patience. Because I've seen customers, people who tried customer service jobs or phone support jobs, and they, if they get mad very easily, then it's not the right job for them. Because if you're doing phone support, you will have to deal with situations that will make you angry and you have to, um, you have to keep your anger down. You have to control your anger and have to learn to be patient or else you won't really succeed in this field at all. So these are the main things really that you need to do customer service work from home. Um, skill wise, how about if we look at, at tool wise, what tools, what equipment do you need? Well, there are some things you do need, like you do need a good headset. You do need a good headset. You do need quiet background, and this is a this is this is a um, a concern in the Philippines. This is a concern in the Philippines. I remember I called I called this company in the U.S. before, um, and I, I knew that I was talking to a Filipino, and I heard the chicken in the background make the tuktogaok sound, you know, tuktogaok or or um, whatever it is in Tagalog, but we would call it in Visaya tuktogaok. Um, so I heard it in the background, it's like, okay, you're in the Philippines. And sometimes, you know, there are buses, sometimes there are tricycles. Um, we have people shouting in the background, Taho, you know, early in the morning. So it's, it's important for you to have quiet background because the customers can hear it and it becomes very unprofessional. And um, you're the company that hire you, the client you, the client might be angry if they hear those kinds of things in the background. So this is a problem in the Philippines, um, but it's really important if you're doing phone support work from home. Okay, um, and another is internet. My recommendation is to get, uh, to get more than five Mbps, more than five Mbps connection at home. Five Mbps, it can work, maybe, um, but you know how the connections in the Philippines are, they're very unstable. So my recommendation is to get 10 Mbps and up. A 10 Mbps connection and up. Okay, so let's ask, who should do it? Who should do phone support? Well, those, first of all, that are good in English. It's, this is very good for those that have call center experience, but it's not a requirement, but it's very good for these kind of people. Those who are looking for easy work. And lastly, those who don't mind working the night shift, because a lot of the times if you're working for US companies, you have to work during their daytime and their daytime is our nighttime. So um, this is a moon. Okay, there we go. You don't mind working the night shift. All right, so um, if you want to learn more about working from home, if you want to learn learn more about working from home, head over to, we don't have a, I don't have a tutorial on taking phone, um, phone support work from home, but if you want to learn more about working from home, um, my recommendation is to start out as a virtual assistant. If you don't, if you want to do something different from phone support, you want to work from home, but you want you don't want to do phone support work, then my recommendation is to start as a virtual assistant and check out our free course here, freevacourse.com. Okay, I'll head over to your questions and the comments here in the in the face in the comment section. Oh, um, we only have a few shares. I, once again, guys, if you found value in this, if you think you have friends or family that can benefit and find value in this, please hit that share button. Um, this is a free video. So in return, I just ask that you, you share this with your family and friends. All right. Um, 
Relge currently working in a BPO for an accounting software. I think I know which accounting software that is. Um, I might have worked in that accounting software account before. Um, Neil, uh, working, working. Yes, we have a lot of people working, currently working in the call center and those skills that you have working in the call center right now, you can convert them to working from home very easily. Um, it's the same skills. You're, it's the same thing you're already doing right now, but instead of doing it um, from the office, you can just do it from home. Okay. Um, it is my first remote work. Good morning. Yes, Leia, Leia um, Futalan uh, used to do a lot of, of phone support work from home. I, I'm not sure if you're still doing that, but he, she used to do a lot of phone support from work from home, you know, and she had to take care of her kids. Um, so that was her main focus. Ingrid, yes, understanding the customer is very important. You have to listen to them. You have to listen to what they're saying. You have to understand what they're saying. And you have to be patient with customers um, to be able to address their problems and to do your job properly. Shin, can you give tips for those newbies who want to enter the phone support world? Okay, um, so good question, Shin. Now, if you already have experience working in the call center, then you, then that is a very, um, that's very good because you're just going to be doing the same thing, pretty much. You're just going to be doing the same thing. Now, if there, there are different things you can do. You can, if you are interested in doing phone support work from home, um, you can even work. And I, I know somebody who's worked in a call center just to get the experience. And after six months, they quit and then they started working from home. So they just went, you know, they go through the training, they get some experience. And after that, they re resign after six months. And then, then, and then they do the same thing from home. So you can get free training um, and then earn some money for a couple of months to get while you're learning things, while you're learning how to do call center work and, and seeing if it's the right fit for you. Um, for, for if you're a pure newbie, meaning you don't have any experience doing call center work or doing any freelancing work, you're going to have to learn, uh, practice your verbal English. That's very important. And you're going to have to learn how to keep talking. You're going to have to talk for a very long time. Sometimes you have to just keep talking for like six, eight hours with very short breaks in between. So have water ready, um, practice verbal communication. Practice really is what you need. If, if you're a pure newbie and you're not used to taking calls, you're not used to continuously talking, you have to practice. That, that's my recommendation. Go and practice um, and improve your verbal English. Um, Relge, is it advisable to start as a CS phone support while learning the VA? Um, it's it's up to you, really. Relge, if, if it's something that you can do, you know, if because if, if, you, you're currently working in the call center right now, you want to start working from home. And this, for you, meaning somebody who's working in the call center, this is the easiest way that you can start working from home because you already have the experience, you already have skills, um, and it, it's the easiest way to get in. So if it's okay with you to do call center work from home, go ahead and start doing it while you're learning other skills. So you can do call center work, you can do phone support work and learn other skills. And eventually, you know, you can change um, into these other skills. Maybe you're learning social media, maybe you're learning VA work, maybe you're learning writing. Um, so you can, you can, you know, work at home for a bit, while studying at the same time, and then later shift to a to another um, skill. Um, can you recommend what USB headset has 100% noise cancellation? There is no headset that has 100% noise cancellation, really. Um, there, are, there are a lot of headsets that provide noise cancellation, but it is never 100%, meaning if you're in, in a noisy area, if, there, if you're by the highway, let's say you're right next to EDSA, if you live right next to EDSA, no headset will cancel out the noise. I've I've looked for headsets. Um, I've seen headsets that cost like twelve and fifteen thousand pesos. Um, but I look at the reviews, and then they they kind of lower the noise a little bit, but it's never one hundred percent eliminated. So if you have chickens, once again, if you have chickens, if you're by a highway, it 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 won't work. My recommendation is to really look for a quiet place first and then get a headset get a logitech or a plantronics um, headset 
look for look for some noise canceling Plantronics or Logitech headsets over on computer stores or on Lazada, and that will help you out. But it's never one hundred percent noise cancellation. Um, Crystal is it's related with appointment setting and Legion. Yes, um, those are kind of phone support works. Appointment setters. I didn't mention it earlier, but thank you for bringing that up, Crystal. Appointment setters are a kind of phone support work. Legion uh, meaning you call. Sometimes legion can mean different things, but but part of it can be calling and getting might involve phone calls. So yes, that can be phone support work. Okay, okay. Rel just saying, Shin, you passed the interview. Um, you have to learn the product or service that your client is offering. Very good tips. Yes, learn more about the product or service your client is offering so you can provide good support. Um, Ingrid saying, correct, a five Mbps or higher is recommended because unlike in BPO, we don't have ITs. We can ask for help. Very, very good, Ingrid. That's right. Um, like in the BPO, you know, if, if the internet goes down, if there's problems, we just we just call tech support, you know, there's, there's an IT in the building and they, they see what's going on and you still get paid, right? You still get paid to do nothing. But, but if you're working from home and your internet goes down, that can be a big problem. You can get fired for that because it's your fault that the internet goes down. Um, and what a lot of people do um, is they have two connections. They have two internet connections. They have one from PLDT, one from Globe. In case Globe goes down, they have PLDT and vice versa. So that's another one. Um, Mike, Vince, yes, try using a gaming headset. Very great suggestion. Gaming headsets have some of the best noise cancellation. Um, they're a bit expensive, but they have they have very good microphones and they have good noise cancellation. Uh, Ingrid, you can try to download SoliCal for noise reduction. So that's some software. I haven't I haven't heard of that before, but thank you for the suggestion. SoliCal, okay. Nil is asking, how about laptop or PC that we are going to use? Is it fine if I'm going to use netbook instead of laptop? Yes, it is fine. It is fine if you if you're taking calls, you don't need a very strong computer. You don't need a very strong computer. So if you have a netbook like an ebook, like the, the Asus ebook, that's okay um, as long as it can can surf the internet. My recommendation is to get a computer with at least two gigabytes of RAM. Okay, two gigabytes of RAM. Um, that's my recommendation. But yes, it's it's not very computer heavy taking in calls. Real yes, um, backup connection is important. Um, I don't take calls from home. Um, I've taken some calls before, but not related to, to work, but connections are very important. Uh, okay. Once again, guys, if you found this helpful, um, please, please share this with others. We're trying to spread the word out here about working from home. We're trying to get more people to know about the benefits, especially if you have friends in the call center, friends in the BPO, family in the BPO, hit that share button so that they can learn more about working from home. They can do Phone support, they can, you know, we've seen so many Filipinos get underpaid and overworked. Um, and we'd like to stop that. So um, let's let's share the word about freelancing. Hit that share button and share the word about freelancing, guys. All right, let's see if we have any other questions. Let's refresh the screen over here. Any other questions or clarifications? Once again, if you do want to do... Um, work from home if you do want to work from home but you don't want to do phone support work um, check out our free va course which is written there free va course dot com okay okay oh, uh, okay yeah it doesn't look like we have any questions check out our free course guys free va course dot com if you want to read our blog posts about working from home check out our website, wfhr.io. You can learn a lot more there. And also join our Facebook group, Freelancers in the Philippines, to find more people. Um, we have over 30,000 members right now. All are people who are working from home or who want to work from home. Um, and you can get a lot of good tips there and grow a community from there. All right, guys. Um, Oh, uh, there's one question here. MJ Kiao Peralta, is there an MS Office requirement? Nope. In most cases, MS Office is not a requirement. Um, I've never wor done work from home where MS Office was Excel, except if you have to do Microsoft Excel work, like for bookkeeping. But for something like this, you don't need Microsoft Office. There's free competitors to Microsoft Office. Um, 
like Open Office and Google Docs, so you don't need to buy Microsoft Office. Don't worry about that. All right, it seems that's all for today. I will talk to you guys next week. We'll have another topic. I haven't decided what the topic is yet, but we will have a another topic. Um, also, this Sunday, this Sunday, over in Freelancers in the Philippines, I'm going to be sharing um, a Bible-based motivational message. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends, and you have a great rest of the day. Bye, everybody.